I had decided not to vote today. Spoiler alert I did end up voting. I am 8 months pregnant, I have twin 1 year old girls, and I live in a red state where I honestly don't feel like my vote even counts. I spent the afternoon walking around the mall with my baby girls and my mom, pushing them in the stroller and carrying their heavy diaper bag. I was already exhausted and wasn't sure I even wanted to go walking to begin with, but decided to go anyways. By the end of the trip, I was really feeling beat. I loaded my tired babies in the car, packed up the stroller and all our stuff, and headed for home, where my bed was calling for me. Halfway home, I glanced in the mirror at my sleeping girls, and decided we needed to stop at the poles first. I really didn't want to go through the hassle of getting them out again, unloading the stroller, waiting in line on my feet and then packing it all up again only to unload a minute later five blocks away at home. But. There's so much at stake. Our rights are being threatened my girls' future rights are at stake. I still don't think my vote counts in my deep red state it was already counted red at the time I went in, but I did it. I voted today, and I did it for myself and my girls. I still don't think my vote counts in my deep red state it was already counted red at the time I went in, but I did it. It won't win the election, but it still counts. When we hear about red states that are slowly turning blue votes like yours help illustrate that trend and show Democrats that it's possible and not to give up on that state. I also live in a red area. Not a red state, but a deeply red county. I think it is more about sending a message. Winning with 80 of the vote is a lot different than 55 of the vote. Let's show them they are on the edge of losing everything if they don't shape up. Don't make them feel safe from future election loss. Thank you for voting. I also live in a red state. I did an absentee ballot because I was due on 11-16 but had been showing signs of delivering early. I went into labor yesterday and spent today in the hospital. Glad I took care of it ahead of time. All the coffee and blessings to you in the month to come. Red state make tired moms go out on election day. Blue states send ballot to your house so you can fill it out whenever you want. It shouldn't be hard to vote. The party making it hard is counting on fewer voices being heard and it makes it so much more important. Local races are important, too, and are often won by two or three votes. I also live in a red area that voted red. But I vote blue and my state will most likely go blue. But your daughters deserve a voice. Thank you for voting. It does matter. Even if the vote doesn't go the way that you want, every number matters. I voted today, in my deep red state, while actively miscarrying a process that became 1,000 scarier because of the abortion bans. My vote may not matter, but I know I did not idly stand by when I could have done something about it. One day I hope that life will be better for us and our children and our children's children red heart hash. You gotta start somewhere. Thank you for voting today. I'm struggling so hard with the harsh reality that as a person with a vagina, my rights to exist as an equal human being are at stake. At first I almost downvoted this without reading the whole thing but wearing us down is their strategy, and you are a hero for voting anyway. Hope you are well red heart hash. Thank you for doing this despite how dismal it seems. I am so glad you did this. Even if you don't win locally, the fact that it isn't a full mandate is still important. They need to see who is voting for and against to realize that it's much closer than they assume. Well done, mom. It counts. Every time the number opposing gets even a little higher the people around you are inspired. You're inspiring them and your girls even if they don't know it yet with your vote. Voting even if I don't think my chosen candidate will win means I'll weaken their opponent's victory slightly. Think of every percentage point they don't get as thousands more middle fingers directed their way, all across the land. I've had bronchitis for the past week and I'm already disabled, but there was no way I was going to miss voting in this election. Unfortunately, a lot of people didn't vote today and our state went from purple to red. 
There was a terribly sad local school board race with a candidate with a PhD and kids in school losing to someone who is openly in canon and has no higher educational experience and no kids in school, as well as wanting to implement a don't say gay on steroids campaign in the schools. Thank you for remembering what was important beyond the moment and getting out to vote. I've lived in Texas for my entire life and almost didn't vote this year because it felt like there was no point. I ended up doing it though for the sake of my reproductive rights and for the sake of my two daughters. They are two years old and three months old and at least we can say that we did everything that we could to try to shield them. I'm proud of you for voting and your girls will be two when they are old enough to understand. Your vote matters more because you live in a red area. Our children are always watching learning internalizing. You showed your daughters something very important today. And I live in a red state where I honestly don't feel like my vote even counts. If did not vote because my vote doesn't count were a candidate, they would have won every election ever. Your vote counts. Thank you for voting you are awesome. My 19-year-old daughter got to vote for her first Senate race. We live in a very red state. She was so excited to wait for the results, but they have already unsurprisingly been called red. At least it was a little bit closer of a race this time. You may live in an area that swings in one direction now, but the next time the vote happens, they are going to recall how close the vote was the last time. Yeah, maybe you don't win this round, but others will take notice of how the vote was tallied, and that extra tightness could be the motivation they need to believe their vote will matter next time when it starts over again. Your vote counted. This is the issue so many feel it is pointless and don't bother which is the self-fulfilling prophecy. Thank you for voting today. I lived in a deeply red county growing up, and remember my parents waking up at the crack of dawn to be the first at the polls. They were one of a few hundred Democrats to vote in an otherwise Republican district. The amount of respect I had for them, and still have for them is immeasurable. Your girls will be so proud of you. I know I am. Thank you for voting we might not win. But putting up the fight with our vote still counts. Especially being women, we're going to have to keep fighting two hearts I am watching TX blaze red at polls, races being called, so depressing to see Abbott declared the winner for governor. But I did my diligence and will continue to do so. For what it's worth, I remember being a child and going with both my parents while they voted, must have made an impact because I went and voted early with my mom last week. Thank you, I totally feel that does my vote even matter. But we can't afford to give up, for your girls, for my granddaughter, for all the women and girls that don't even have the option of voting. Thank you I could feel your exhaustion in your post. Your girls won't remember this, but you've set the example we all need to set. May not swing statewide elections but you can really make a difference in local politics. JFC. We make voting too hard in this country. You did the right thing. Even if the Republicans win, at least you did what you could. If you didn't vote, you would be partially responsible if they win. When I saw the title of your post, I was getting quite angry. But when I read the end of your post, I was happy and relieved. Your vote counts, locally. The individual votes matter. It's only when the EC gets involved that your vote doesn't count, unless enough of you do. Like of you a Republican who voted for Trump in Minnesota in 2016, and 2020, tough shit, you actually voted for Clinton and Biden, respectfully. Likewise if you're in, or Texas or whatever red state, and you voted for Clinton or Biden, you actually voted for Trump twice. Proud of you. My wife and I live in a red state and a red county and we voted blue all the way down. We voted for us. We voted for our bodies. We voted for future pregnant people. We voted because we care about more than ourselves. I'm a Texan woman who is afraid of everything being taken away from me. Edit change a word I suck at getting my point across. The upwards trend line is important. Thank you for voting. Hi I'm in a red state to Texas, which I used to love but now it's just a 
I am proud of you for voting even though it was a pain to do so I'm also thankful that you added your voice to the other voices in your state who chose to vote for rights. So proud of you.